world I'm wanting to look at. I was beginning to think you weren't coming back from your outing with baby boo. Baby boo. I don't have any serious person in my life right now. Still, you should bring him home so that I know the person you went out with. I have had you. So, how are the babies doing? Babies. It's only one, oh. Do you want to kill me and Toby with our current financial situation? Speaking of Toby, have you told him that you are pregnant? Yes, we spoke and I told him about the baby. Are you sure about that? Yes, I am. Why are you and Kelly thinking I did not tell him? That's because we know you too well and he might not say it. Thinking about how you will react to the pregnancy idea. You two are. That's one of the many reasons I didn't want to tell him. But following your advice, I told him about the pregnancy. What did he say when you told him about it? He was happy and also said he was not happy. That I should have told him about it before he left, but I didn't. If it were me, I'm sure I would be unhappy that he didn't tell me. I did not tell him because he wouldn't want to travel again. It's good that he knows now that he can start saving for you to come over and stay with him. But for now, I can't go there because he has not yet found a place of his own. And the salary is not too good. So, he's still staying at his friend's place? Yes, he is. So I can't go and see him for now. I understand. But they should send you money for upkeep. We are going to be fine. And I know Toby. I just wish you told Toby about this sooner. I'm sure he wouldn't have traveled, but he would have found a way around everything. If I had told him then, I'm sure he would have stayed back and maybe ended up going back to his mom, which is something he does not want. What if his mom still does not agree to everything, even with the baby? Hmm. I don't know what the woman wants from me, but I pray she accepts us. What's up, man? I'm fine, and you? How was the office today? It was fine. I'm so tired. Look at you. If you are tired, then what do you want me to say? I guess I'm beyond tired then. I know your own work is stressful, but you have been home since. Imagine me in a room full of boring people giving boring speeches. It's a good thing someone can relate to what I was going through with my mom. Yours was different. See, if I get the kind of job offer your mom have then, I will happily grace onto it. Believe me, Toby. I know, and that's what differentiates us. I know you are trying to be a man of your own. But you know you don't need to do all of this. That is what I want, man. I'm not going back home to my mom until I become the man I want to be. We are born with a silver spoon. You don't have to go through all of this, man. That is what I want, man. I'm not going back home to my mom until I become the man I want to be. You know I will always support you in any way I can. And at the same time, I don't want you to suffer this much. Let me suffer. It will only make me smarter and wiser. Yes, it will. But there's something sweeter than having the soft life. If I had everything that you have, man, I wouldn't trade it for anything. That's why I always say you are the perfect son for my mom. I bet she would give you anything you want. You are not serious. I'm not in your shoes, so I don't know if I might end up making the same decision as yours. But you should talk to her and let her know that you are fine. There is nothing for her to know about anything. Let's not talk about her anymore. My mom is allowed to send whatever parties she wants to find me. Then if she finds you with me, what excuse are you going to give her? Worry less about that. Let's go to the part where you said you are going to miss me. Yeah, I'm going to miss my friend. I'll miss you too. Don't worry, we'll always find a way to talk to each other. I want us to be more than just friends, Kelly. Will you be my girlfriend? <laughs> are you sure you want that? Yes, I'm very sure about it. I want you to be my lover, Kelly. What do you think about it? Give me time. No, Kelly, it's either yes or no. From the first time we became friends, I'm sure you've also known it. So would you like to go out with me? Yes or no, please tell me. Yes, I will be your girlfriend, Jacob. Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> Why are you laughing now? I'm sorry. See, I'm just happy. I promise to love you, Kelly. And I'll not break your heart in any form. I will only show you love, Kelly. More than the one you have been showing me. I haven't shown you anything yet. I only wish I had done this sooner. But don't worry, distance will not be a barrier between us. I don't think Toby will be sending me any money soon. How are you doing all this all by yourself? I will find my way around it. Maybe get a job during this holiday. You want to work even after the doctor asks that you rest? I'm just thinking of it all, Eve. That's what I'm doing. Toby should start better start sending money. So you'll be able to manage yourself well. So you don't fall sick. He will do that. You don't need to tell him anything. Maybe he needs me to talk to him. Because I know the way you'll be talking to him gently. How am I meant to talk to him? Tell him as you are pregnant now. You need money for the baby and yourself.
Thank God you came to see me today. I was already making plans on coming to see you at home tomorrow. Chelsea, I am not fine. What's wrong with you, Faith? My stomach keeps spinning me. I came to see that I am losing weight. I noticed that too. But I thought back in school, it was because of exams and Jacob. But now you are even slimmer. Yes, I also thought same, but now I don't think so. And now, my aunt is complaining that I am losing weight. What are we going to do? I don't know. That's why I came to you. My stomach pain is getting more severe and painful. Why is your stomach still aching you? It did not stop since the abortion I did. And it should have stopped. But that's like one month now we should have stopped it didn't and today i started seeing some blood i think we should go to the hospital i'm weak i don't if i can even walk all by myself you have to try you we take transport to the hospital please what if this means something very very bad don't worry it's nothing bad we can't be assuming let's go to the hospital first then we will know okay then it's best i find out what's wrong with me than my aunt finding out i'm sure it's nothing serious once you get to the hospital now you realize it's minor I don't think it's something minor, and I'm scared like this. Don't be scared, Faith. Everything will be okay. Let's go. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you more. The time spent with you has been the best, and I wish I didn't have to leave. We both know you have to, sooner or later. Please take care of yourself, okay? I'll call you. Are you sure about that? Because once you go back now, all those girls will see my handsome man. Is that what you've been thinking since, that this is goodbye, and you won't hear from me again until you resume? Kind of, and I won't be surprised if that happens. I know you are all emotional about it, but know this, I love you Kelly, and I'm not going anywhere. Are you sure you love me that much? Yes, I do. I love you so much, and I'll call you every day, I promise you. Good morning, man. You are up early. A man who needs to make money must not use his time to be sleepy. You started reading all of those African novels, right? They motivate me to be a better man. About our conversation last night, I have an offer. What is it about? There was this place I was working before I came back to Lagos. It's a stressful job, but the pay is very good. Okay, what's the job about? I'm interested. It is very, very stressful, Toby. All they do there is farm, and you have to be there for at least a period of three months, and they pay very well. All right, since you said the pay is good, I'm sure it's something I can give you a shot at. Well, if you can do it, you'll be able to achieve all these things I have and more. I remember you once asked how I was able to achieve all this. It's from the farm work. You mean you got all of this from working in the farm? Yes, man. But it's very stressful. But we have a lot of people who apply for this job. But I've got a slot. Wow. I'm interested, Leo. Making money is not easy. And when I got the offer again, I knew you should have it. Thank you so much. I know you are trying to be a man of your own, but you know you don't need to do this, Toby. This is what I want, man. I'm not going back to my mom until I become the man I want to be. Think about this first. What is there to think of, Leo? I want to do this. <laughs> there are so many stressful things attached to this job. Like what? The farm is not located here, Toby. It's in a far away place near the border. It doesn't matter. For three months, right? If you can be there for a year, you'll be a millionaire once you're out. When can I start the job? You are funny, man. Oh, why did you fall now? I hope nothing has happened to the screen of this phone. Oh, no! Why is all this happening to me now? Why did the screen of my phone spread at this time when I have no money and nothing at all to do? What am I going to do now? The phone is completely blind. It's never showing anything. Is it even still on? What is this now? Oh, oh. What happened to your phone? It fell as I was about to stand up from the bed. I didn't even know that I left the phone so close to me. Sorry about that. I hope it didn't get spoiled. It did. I'm trying to switch on the phone, but it's refusing to come on. Wow. It means the screen of the phone is broken. I think that's what happened, or something more. You will have to try to get Toby to send you some money so you can fix it. I have no choice, unless I ask for Kelly's help. Why Kelly? Why not Toby? Stop talking like you don't know what's going on. Did you miss me at all? Yes, I did. I still don't know why you refused to stay here with me yesterday. Because you did not allow me to do anything yesterday. And I needed to rest. I was so tired. You could have rested here. We both know that will not work because you won't allow me to sleep more than two hours. How did everything go at home when you told him the news? He was so excited about getting the new job. Okay. The plan is working. He's ready to travel. But I did not give him the full details that the work is for six months. I only told him it's for three months. Okay. Is he going to be deep into the job when he gets to know that it's for six months? 
Yes, but his mind is made up. I see. Then I will set everything in motion. Okay, ma. Can't you see that he's more determined to get away from you and do something for himself? Look at how he's doing something for himself. I am still the one helping him out here. That's true. If not for you, he wouldn't have gotten a job by now. Toby will not want to understand that he needs me. And he always will. Hello, mom. How are you doing? I am fine. I am so happy that you are back home. I am happy to be home too. But I told you not to worry. I was going to come back after my exams. Yes, you said so. But you did not come back home immediately like you said. I did not say I will come immediately, mom. I know you still stayed back in school to do some stuff because Sean came back home before you. That's because I'm not done with my exams. You know I and Sean are not doing the same course. Okay, son, that aside, let's celebrate you. Now you are almost a graduate. Yes, few months to go, mom. I made your favorite meal for you. Alright, but before I have the gift, I want to have my food. I'm so hungry. And I have a surprise for you. I know you are hungry. Daddy told me he'll be home before me. Did he come home? Your dad isn't around, son. Still busy with work. But now that you are back, we might go over and meet him. Where have you been since yesterday? You don't need to ask. You should know where she has been now. I have not been anywhere. Just that I had to help Jacob pack his things because he left yesterday. He left yesterday. So he left? Yes, he did. And why are you looking at me like that? You are the only one feeling guilty because I'm not looking at you in any form. But I don't know about Naomi. I'm not looking at her in any form. But I just noticed that Kelly looked more different. Before you to start with me, Jacob asked me out and I said yes. Aww. Now I know why you look happier than before. I'm so happy for you, babe. Thank you. Finally, she accepted she loves the guy. But why now? How do you mean? Why do you accept it now when there is a break? It doesn't matter. School will still resume. So until school resumes before you guys see? I don't know. Maybe. You are not a good liar. I'm happy for you. It's been so long since I've seen you this happy. You're not serious. You guys always make me happy. Not the way Jacob makes you happy, but he should have stayed with you a little longer. He shouldn't have gone back home yet. He needed to. His mom wanted to see him. Having to struggle for everything is so hard. I just wish I did not have to go through this. But my mom is not understanding and won't give me what I want. <laughs> me to be working on a farm. But what can I do? This job I'm doing here is not giving me the kind of savings I need. All the money I get goes to feeding and transport. It's been so long. I even sent something to Naomi. I just hope she's fine wherever she is. I need to take care of myself and her also. It is best I take the job offer from Leo if working on the farm is going to give me the kind of money I need to take care of myself. Why is her number not going through? I hope she's fine. It's unlike her, but maybe there is no light in their area. But I'm sure that of our friend will go through. Eve's number is also not going through. That means there is no light. I'll just leave her a message. I think I'll take this job offer. After three months, I'll be able to boast about something that I can call my own. But why isn't Naomi's number going now? I also wish that he said, but there's nothing I can do. I can't stop him from going home to see his mom. Are you also going home? My dad isn't around, so I don't think so. But once he's back. Me, I'm in mean, school, Jerry. Even if the holiday ends, I'll still be here. We are stuck together. You better follow Kelly home once her dad is back. You're both welcome to Abuja. Just have your transport fare. If I'm going, you're paying for my transport. Not this time. I don't have much money like this. Kelly, don't forget to start reminding your dad on our job. You know we will soon be done with school now. And this shit isn't friendly. Yes, I'm praying my dad gets back soon so I can talk to him about you guys. At least he can help you get a job in his company or talk to his friends to help you both. Thanks, babe. Look, your phone is ringing. I'm sure it's your lover boy calling you. People in love. No, it's not Jacob. I don't even know this number. But let me take the call. Hello? Good afternoon. Yes, this is Kelly. Please, who am I talking to? What? When did it happen? Okay, I'm on my way. Okay, thank you so much. What was that all about? I just got a call that my dad just got back, but he slumped at the airport. They just rushed him to the hospital. Oh my god, I'm so sorry about that. I'm going home to pack my things. I'll be leaving for Abuja. Today? Come on, Kelly, wait a bit. I can't. See, I'll see you guys. Okay. Babe, stay strong. Everything is going to be fine. Nothing is happening to him. 
Thank you. Take care of yourself. I'll call you to tell you about everything. I hope our dad is fine. The meal is so good. It just makes me remember how much I missed home. You are welcome, son. I am happy you enjoyed your food. Alright, mom. So where is my present? It is in your room upstairs. That reminds me. What is it, mom? The last time we spoke, you said you were coming home with a friend, but you did not bring anyone home. But I changed my mind about that. Did you and her have an issue or you just changed your mind? Something happened. Not like a fight. She had to go home to do something. Okay. I was just so excited and looking forward to meeting your girlfriend. Mom, I did not say she's a girlfriend. You are not too young to have a girlfriend. Now that you are almost done with school, I want you to bring a woman home. So you can give me grandchildren on time. All this conversation is too early. It's not. You are my only son and only child. So bring me a woman so you can start giving me grandkids. Oh my god, Chelsea. I'm sorry this happened to you, Faith. You know all this is your fault, right? I wouldn't be in this mess in the first place. How is this my fault, Faith? You heard what the doctor said. That if you had come back to the hospital a few days when you were feeling the pain, you could have still been given antibiotics. All of this is still your fault. How would I have known that you are still having tummy pain? You didn't say anything about it to me, Faith. When I say it's your fault, I'm not talking about the pain. I'm talking about the bugs where you took me out with Chris on the day of my birthday. But we only did that to have fun. I'm sorry. I brought this upon myself. Look at my life, Chelsea. You don't even know the father of this child is, Faith. How can you keep that kind of pregnancy? It is not your fault. Which is better. Now I can't even have any child of my own. I should have left the pregnancy. See, I should have aborted. You have to put yourself together. What has happened has happened. I am sorry it happened to you. I should have listened to the doctor when he told me that removing the pregnancy was not good for my health. I hope she meets her dad in good health. I pray she does because he's the only person she has and he hasn't been spending time with her. It will be fine. We will talk to her later. Yeah, I'm sure she will call once she's in Abuja and has settled in. Yes. So, Naomi. What are you going to do about your phone now? I don't know yet. I wanted to ask Kelly for money to use to fix the phone. But I can't, given everything that happened to her. That's true. Her mind was no longer with her. All she wants to do is to see her father. Yeah, I'll just keep the phone and repair it anytime I have the money to fix it. How will you communicate now? I'll use your phone to talk to Toby and Kelly. I'm sure that once my money enters my hand, I'll fix my phone. Okay. You know you will start paying me every time you use my phone to make a call. Don't worry. I'll pay you back with a kiss because I don't have any money to give you. Who are you going to kiss? Do I look like Toby to you? No, no, but I'm paying you with the kiss now. Better tell Toby on your phone. You're the one I'll tell about it, Eve. Please help me fix my phone. I don't have money. You have money. We're all the woman like you. I claim it. Amen. You can even change my phone for me. Let's go to the phone market and buy a new one. See this girl. Be dreamy. How is work going, man? It's moving well, but it's like today's weather is way hotter. I noticed that too. You know you can always come to my office for a break and to receive the air condition. I know. And thanks, Leo. Sure, anytime. Do you need anything? I've been thinking about what you said on the farm job. Okay. So what have you decided, Toby? Are you taking it or not? I'll take the offer. You said it's for only three months, right? At least three months of working there. Yes. I can do it. I'm interested. Are you sure of this, Toby? Remember, it's not in Lagos. I remember everything you said. Even the one on the network. I forgot to mention something else, Toby. Is this something that's going to make me reject the job? I don't know. <laughs> I... You can't be with your phone while working there. Once you get there, your phones will be kept aside. But they'll give it back to me, right? I'm still taking the job, Leo. Okay, I'll make preparations and get back to you. Thank you, Leo. You don't need to thank me, but I need to remind you that the place you're going to is very far. And you need to take four modes of transport to get where the company car will pick you up. Why do I feel like you are trying to discourage me from taking this job? I am not. See, I'm just letting you know everything about this job. Or won't you like to know what you're getting involved with? I will. Is there anything else I should know? Oh, yes. Another thing you should be aware of is that there is no network in the place. Well, wait. There is no network there? Yes, there is no network. That's why you may not be able to call me or anyone. No, Naomi. I'm not saying you must go, but you should know why you are doing this in the first place. I understand you. I will talk to her. I'm sure she will understand. I'm not telling you that you must go to this place. Your job here is also okay. It's not a must. 
You don't have to go that far. You don't have to go to that farm. 